Hi guys, my name is Michelle and my channel name is Michelle and for what channel? And if you like my channel, subscribe and like and share it to everyone and your friends and turn on the notifications bell so you never miss any of my videos. And today I'm going to be I'm going to be saying the story about New Al Islam. So let's get started. So it says when Adam and Hawa Islam passed away, their children continued to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as their prophet and father Adam alayhi wa salam, had taught them nobody prayed to anyone other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Shaitan was still angry and jealous. He wanted to take the children of Adam alayhi salam, to Jahannam and he thought of a plan. The plan was there was many pious and good people who were very close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Many of these great people had passed away. Shaitan went to the people in disguise. Shaitan asked them about the pious people who had passed away. They, rep they replied they were great people who worshipped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now the next page. Shaitan said, why don't you look at them and remember them every day? When they asked how that was possible, he told them to draw pictures of these pious people and leave them in their houses. That This way they would be able to look at them whenever they wanted. The people thought this was a good idea. They drew pictures. Every morning they would look at these pictures and remember the great people. The children would watch their fathers when sh these children grew up. They changed these pictures into statues. Next page. Every morning these children who were now grown up would look at these statues and remember the great people while their children would watch them do this. When these children became old, they did not know that these statues were there just for remembrance. They changed these statues into idols and began worshipping them. They began praying to these idols. Shaitan was happy about this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was not happy that his servants were praying to idols. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decided to ascend a messenger to remind them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose a man called Nu. Nu al-Islam was a very respected young man. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him a messenger to give people the message of truth. Next page. Nu al-Islam stood in front of the people and called them to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Subhan, Subhan Tala, and not to these idol, idols made of stone. The people did not like what Nu al Islam was saying to them. They laughed at him and did not listen. They troubled and hit Nu al Islam, but Nu al Islam did not give up. He told them that if they were repented to Allah Subhan Tala by changing their ways, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would bless them with so many good things. They said to him, should we believe in you when only the weak and poor follow you? They wanted him to push the weaker people away. Then they might think about following him. No, al Islam made it clear that he would never drive these believers away. No, al Islam kept calling people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for 950 years and still Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not push, punish those who did not listen but gave them so many chances. Next page. At times he called upon them publicly while at other times he went to them individually. Each time he called them they would put their fingers in their ears and cover themselves with their clothes. Very few people accepted the message after all the hard work of Nu al Islam. Nu al Islam warned the people that if he if they did not stop the evil then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would send a punishment to them. The people laughed and said bring to us the punishment that you have promised if you are truthful. Nu al Islam 
then made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to punish the people and said, My Lord, do not leave a single disbelieving person on earth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded Nuh alayhi salam to build a large ship, also known as an ark. Nuh alayhi salam began, began to build. Next page. When the ship was ready, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded Nuh alayhi salam to take aboard the ark all the people that had believed in him and a male and a female from each and every type of animal. It then started to rain so much that the sky opens its water and the earth springs gushed forth to the extent that there was a huge flood. The ark began sailing through the waves which were rising as high as mountains. All the people who had disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala were drowned. The people that had believed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala were saved. Next page. One son of Nuh alayhi salam did not believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nuh alayhi salam called him to join in the ark by believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said to his father, I shall climb a mountain that will save me from the rising water. Nuh alayhi salam reminded him that no one could be saved that day except those that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had mercy on. As they were speaking, a large wave came and swept the sun away. He was amongst the people who had drowned. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had told Nuh alayhi salam that his son was not from his family and as his actions were not good. Nuh alayhi salam and his compassions thanked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for saving them from the flood. Everyone came out safely from the ark. Nu al-Islam prayed, O oh my Lord, let my landing from this ark be blessed for you. Alone can make me land in safety. The ark stopped at a mountain called Jadi. No one from the disbelievers survived. We must remember the lesson from the story of Nu al-Islam.